Guido Vianello versus Jay McFarlane. Who do y'all think is going to win this fight? Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So this fight between Vianello and McFarlane is scheduled for 8 rounds in the heavyweight division to take place this coming Friday on the 28th of October. October 28, 2022, live over at the uh, Pala Atlantico in Rome, in Italy. Uh, this fight will be shown live over here in the United States of America on ESPN+. Plus. So tune in to ESPN+, Plus this Friday, if you want to see this event. The event will include a WBC International Silver Super Welterweight title fight, an Italian Super Welterweight title fight, an EBU Female Super Flyweight title fight. So there's a bunch of uh, good fighters fighting this card. And uh, you know what? I look forward to it. I look forward to seeing this event. Um, you know, boxing is growing in Italy. And we have Guido, who is a heavyweight, trying to, uh, you know, put his name out there in Italy. He has never fought in Italy before as a pro. He has been fighting over here in the United States ever since he turned pro in 2018. And uh, yeah, he's from Italy. He's born in Italy. He lives in Vegas now. But, you know, um, being from Italy, obviously, you want to you know, build a fan base. And right now, this will be his 11th professional fight. He's coming for a win against Rafael Rios back in July. And now here he is fighting Jay McFarlane. A 24-year-old fighter from Glasgow, Scotland, 13 and 6, five wins coming by way of Naka Artikio, also known as the Ghost. Currently ranked number 18 in the UK, uh, number 237 out of 1,300 heavyweights on box rack. His current rank, compared to Guido, who's ranked number 78 out of uh, more than 1,300 boxers on box rack in the heavyweight division. So McFarlane is coming off a win against Chris Healy back in September. He's, uh, before that, he lost to Nick Campbell. Um, did pretty well, in my opinion. I mean, though he got stopped in that fight, he he put a lot. He showed a lot of heart and determination, and that's what I expect from McFarlane in this fight. Him being the aggressor, showing a lot of heart, determination, toughness, moving forward, putting on the pressure, and cutting off the ring, and just trying to get in the inside within range of Vianello to uh, work inside to work in the inside. Uh, but in the end, in my opinion, Guido's boxing skills with his height and reach with that jab, I think will lead to a win. Plus, he has the hometown advantage. Uh, so if it goes to the scorecards, I'm pretty sure the scorecards were already pre-filled um, with Guido winning. So it, it's pretty much uh, a win for Guido if it goes to the scorecards, in my opinion. Uh, but, you know, I think Guido, if he used that jab and that, that right hand follows up with that jab... Um, I think he should be able to break apart Jay McFarlane and, and possibly win by TKO and in, in towards the later part of the fight, maybe around 6, 7, 8 uh, by TKO. But if he goes a distance, I'm, I'm pretty sure Vianello will win uh, either by close decision or by wide decision. I, I can't see McFarlane losing this, winning this fight in the scorecards. Now, do I think McFarlane has a chance to stop Vianello? Yeah, I do. I mean, it is the heavyweight division. These guys are 200 plus pounds. One punch can change the entire fight. And the one thing about Vianello, he tends to have his chin up. He doesn't have his really chin tucked in. So with that chin, with his chin up, one punch, he will go down. Depending on how clean the punch is, in my opinion. So Jay McFarlane needs to land one big clean one. And I won't be surprised if he... Uh, you know, knocks out Vianello because of that chin. You know, a lot of fighters tend to have their chin, that chin up, uh, but, you know, um, people learn that, uh, you know, once you get hit, I'm sure Vianello will, will probably have that chin down uh, after, if he, you know, if he gets hit. But we'll see. We will see. Um, honestly, just looking forward to a great coming few days of boxing. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks. Oh, just to make it clear, I am picking Guido to win, either by unanimous decision or by TKO in round 6, 7, 8. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for listening again and watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.